So see, I don't even really want to make no more videos anymore because I have a hard enough problem trying to figure this out on my own. I know that, again, if a person gives their life to Christ, that means they're not going to no longer serve Satan, correct? Because, I mean, there's a problem that God has with somebody that's trying to serve him and serve the God of this world. And then you see the message of talking about serving the creator versus the created or the creature or whatever. You know the scripture I'm talking about. But what I don't understand is that if truly Christians were repentive, they wouldn't be living for the world. And I don't understand. I mean, I, I, I see. I know. You, I know people out here would like to sit here and think, "Well, Jeff, you just don't know what you're talking about," because I've witnessed people out here make comments, and I'm sure that that's a. There's a very good reason why a lot of people don't like me because, because I don't seem to have everything assured. Well, I know of one thing. Again, if a person's going to be in sin, they're going to be of their father, the devil. And since, since like the Bible is true, talking about how people are looking for unrighteousness. Somebody tried to tell me yesterday in a comment that uh, everybody that believes is going to get raptured. Well, everybody out here that believes in God and believes in Jesus and believes the message all think they're believers. But yet, so many that are, have not adhered to the word, that are not a doer of the word, are deceived. And when you see that, uh, man, I just, I'm so sick and tired of trying to make videos like this. Because, see, everybody has taken just anything and everything everybody has said out here. That's what it is. At the end of the day, the majority of Christians out here have heard all these things that people out here have said. And they've taken everything into account that man has interpreted. I mean, the unrighteous deserve God's wrath. So that means anybody out here that's unrighteous deserves God's wrath. They're not going to get raptured. And since Christians have twisted God's word so they can remain in unrighteousness, how are they going to get raptured when they're unbelievers? They're not believers. They're not going to get raptured. Most Christians wouldn't get raptured. They wouldn't even inherit the kingdom right now. Literally, God has given us free will, but people don't want to repent. I mean, I witness people more and more all the time talking about repentance. You are supposed to turn to God and turn from your ways. And if you haven't turned from your ways, then that's the very reason why very few make it. So that meant they didn't want to repent. See, for some reason, people have a different outlook on repentance. And they don't want to look that there's an actual thing that you have to do in your life. I've tried to point this out that I know what has happened to people out here. I know that if I lie to you and you believe in what I say over what the word of God says, God will literally give you up. There is nothing special about you. There is nothing special about you at all that if you're more willing to listen to what man has to say over what the word of God says, God will literally go, bye bye. You're on your own. You don't think so? You don't think so. So if you believe in a lie that you don't have to repent over that you do have to repent, are you sure that God won't give you up? And since everybody has a rapture video out here and everybody's talking about the rapture, the rapture, the rapture, the rapture, 
and they're not worthy of a rapture, why worry about a rapture? I'm going to say this again. Believe is not simply just saying, I believe there is an action that you incorporate from God's word that makes you a true believer. And if you do not accept that action into your life, then you're not a believer. Now, whether at the end of the day you consider that obedience or not, there is a message that you incorporate from the Word of God. And if you do not incorporate that message into your life, then you're not going to be a believer. So why worry about bringing up the word believe? People are deceived. I mean, there's got to be something so special about that scripture about being a doer of the word. I mean, just because, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I, I really, I mean, I could see how somebody could argue, hey, Jeff, I don't believe you. I don't believe that you're right. Because it says in the Bible that Christ is an advocate for someone that sins. That's, but th that's not the whole picture. That's not the whole picture. Yes, I understand that it says that if a person sins that Christ is an advocate. But yet we've been told to turn away from sin. It says his people don't sin. His people don't sin. That's not a lie. That's just as much as the word of that's just as much of the word of God as what Christ said himself. But for some reason, his people are out here sinning like crazy and saying they're of God. And that is not true. They're not of God at all. If, if, hey, like I said, I mean, I haven't been caught up on what man believes out here like the majority of the church. I have not. I have not incorporated all this garbage out here that you hear from every overnight Cracker Jack box theologian out here. Y'all have. Just because my grandparents were Naz part of the Nazarene church does not mean that I incorporated what the Nazarene church believes. If you're a Baptist, why did you ever incorporate what the Baptist church preached? If you're a Catholic, why did you ever incorporate what the, what the Catholic church believes? On down the list, why did you guys ever incorporate that stuff? You thought it was the truth. What if it wasn't the truth? Then how can you be set free if it isn't the truth? And then when somebody does tell you the truth, you don't like the truth. Well, you know the Christians don't like the truth. It's quite relevant. I mean, again, how can you be somebody out here? I'll give you an example. Again, I remember when I made a comment to one person one day out here and the person person commented back to me that the Holy Spirit does not do anything for a person at all until they've turned to Christ. How could that possibly be? How many people out here could listen to someone out here say that the Holy Spirit does not do anything. It does, The Holy Spirit doesn't do anything? I thought it was the Holy Spirit that drew us to God in the first place. I thought it was the Holy Spirit that was convicting of, the, of sin. That didn't mean you had to be saved to get convicted for, from sin. So... If somebody out here is going to say, oh, well, the, um, the Holy Spirit doesn't do anything until you've come to the Lord, how could that possibly be? Do you understand with what I'm sitting here saying? And this person, a lot of people were on his page as if this guy was the ultimate authority. 
If he was the ultimate authority, then why would this person ever sit here and say the Holy Spirit wouldn't do anything? Now, how about this? How about on TikTok, and I found a YouTube video. So I found two different formats with two different people that said, I'm saved, and I know that I'm saved because I got convicted. You got convicted before anybody ever came to the Lord. If you got convicted, does that mean you're actually saved? Why did two people sit here and profess to be saved because they got convicted? If that was true, then I was saved before I ever came to God. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's an ear tickling message for everyone, isn't it? <laughs> but that's not the way it works. That means atheists are out here saved because they got convicted just because they don't remember being convicted doesn't mean they were not it before. Are they saved? Oh, you would say no. Well, then how could everybody out here that professes that they've gotten convicted were saved? This is the garbage that people listen to out here. This is the garbage that leads people to believe that they can twist the word of God and they're going to be, I mean, come on. I mean, you guys know the scriptures that if people are in sin, that they've never known God. I mean, I know what that means. I know what it means. I can rightly divide that if people are out here in sin that call themselves Christians, if they truly ever knew God, they wouldn't be doing the things that they're doing. And that's why Jesus is going to say, I never knew you, because if you truly knew Jesus Christ, you wouldn't be out here in a life of sin. Hey, Jeff. Does that sound like a ring of a bell? Something that you may need to hear? Oh, yes, but I know the truth. I'm telling you right now, the majority of Christians, I've said it and I'll say it again. And I'll say it till I'm purple in the face. Until this, I, I'm telling you when the rapture happens, and I know it's pre-wrath of God, not pre-trib. I know right now very few Christians at all are adhering to the word. If God said it's over, most people would be going right to the lake of fire and they all call themselves Christians. That's right. Hey, I, I, I mean, you're serving one or the other. You're either serving the creator or the little serpent, you know, runner of this earth. And I know who they're serving right here, the little serpent. Hey, you're of your father, the devil, if you're in sin. That's just it. I mean, many are called, few are chosen. Why does it sound like it's a selected group? It is going to be people that sit here and change their life. At the end of the day, if I called myself a Catholic and I was getting drunk and I was getting high and I was fornicating, I was cheating on my, my wife or if I was a woman and I was cheating on my husband, husband and, it, and, it's, and it goes for the same as a Baptist and it goes for the same as any other denomination out here. Believe me, if that was the case, I wouldn't be saved. So as most Christians are saying, hey, it's okay to do those, you ain't saved. Good luck on that one out there, though. God's good. I, like I said, I never knew you. That's the truth, man. I'm just telling you the truth. I mean, you know, why lead someone astray like the church has done? No, y'all, you can call yourself a Christian. You believe and you're in sin. No. No, that's not how it works. That's faithlessness. We're saved by what grace? What grace do these people have that they're not denying all ungodliness and worldly lust? That's right, none at all. How about faith? We're saved by grace through faith. 
What faith do they have? None at all because they're faithless, because they're disobedient and they're, what are they? They're not a believer. They're an, what is it? An unbeliever. There you go. There you go. There you go. End of story. This world is in a world of hurt, man. Christianity is in a world of hurt. I mean, I said it's insanity and Christianity. Uh, insanity and Christianity. I told you, man. How many times I gotta tell you? Insanity and Christianity. <laughs> I mean, I'm just... I'm just telling you the truth, man. I mean, I witnessed all these, but God bless. I got all these scriptures memorized. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I'm a, I'm a sinner. I'm a need of a savior, but I'm not willing to do anything about my sin now. That's right. You know, <laughs> you weren't supposed to just incorporate what Paul had to say. And plus, if you were ever going to incorporate what Paul had to say, you were supposed to incorporate that he shed the flesh every day. Here, I get tempted. Satan tempts me. I should go kill some Christians. Goodbye, Satan. Okay, so let's look at us today. Man, I want to go get drunk. Goodbye, Satan. But no, this is how Christians are. Man, I wouldn't mind going and getting drunk. Hey, let's go get drunk. Okay, I can call myself a Christian. Let's go get drunk. What is that? Living for the flesh. Good luck. Good luck, everyone out there. You're supposed to go, bye-bye. Die to self. Bye-bye, <laughs> flesh. No, but that's not how Christians are being, aren't they? Living for the flesh. And you what? The second death. That's, that's hell. That's hell for you. Go and sin no more, multiple times from Christ, as if it was going to be worse. They legalize marijuana everywhere. There is there is a good purpose for marijuana in certain circumstances. I will I will not I will not deny it. <coughs> but if you were, to, I mean, I could literally see that if God, if God let you know, hey, you know, um, it, that there is a purpose for marijuana, but when you start doing things that you shouldn't do, it's just like if I could drink and get drunk without sitting here driving down the road and killing people or, you know, committing sin that I'm not supposed to be doing, that's one thing. That's the reason why we're not supposed to get drunk. Because I already know what we will do if we get drunk. Satan will tempt us and we'll be like, well, sure. Well, sure. Well, let's go. I mean, I don't like that person. I got a gun out in the car. Let's go kill that person. He looked at me wrong. Have you ever seen, I mean, have you, have you ever gone to a party and the soon as some uh, certain people show up, you're like, let's get the hell out of here. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be a fight. This person showed up. Let's get out of here. I've been to parties back when I was 17 or 18, 16 or whatever. People showed up and we were like, bye-bye, goodbye. Because what was going to happen? Okay, but, but see, not all of us were able to keep ourselves under control. If I got drunk... I'm not that way. If you got drunk, you may be ready to kill everybody in the house. What's that sound like? Sounds like being ran by Satan. Let's go, man! This dude showed up. Let's get out of here, man. I mean, so, okay. Um, you give your life to Christ and you have a problem, what do you do? If you got a drinking problem, you take it to him and he, what, what does he do? He delivers you. So if, I mean, believe me, Jeff, Jeff, are you listening to yourself here? 
Jeff. Okay, so, but, you know, you have a smoking marijuana problem. You take it to God and he delivers you. You don't make excuses. Oh, well, it says, you know, you know oh, I, I listened to this, well, I listened to this pastor. He said, if God delivers you and you're supposed to fight the temptation, you know, I've always sit here and I've, I've, I've sit here and said, how, how long would you have a friend? Somebody shows up, says, hey, hey man, it's been a while since I've seen you. Hey man, I got some marijuana. Be gone, Satan. Bye-bye, Satan. Goodbye. <laughs> I mean, you know. Goodbye, Satan. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, no. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to think. Uh, you give your life to Christ. You turn from your ways. He delivers you from sin. But if you listen to the majority of Christians... Their message is that, well, all you got to do is believe. Well, yeah, you can sin. What does it say? Yeah, you can sin in the Bible. Oh, <laughs> there you go. There's the falsehoods. Oh, but that's the year tickling message out here. That's what people want to hear. They want to hear, yeah, you can take the mark of the beast and God will forgive you later. Thank you, John MacArthur. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You know, you know, no, I haven't smoked no marijuana lately, but <laughs> I, mean, I would y'all like to, man. But you know what? Nope, that's not what God's about, huh? That'd be like serving two masters. Hey, uh, I'm a Christian, but yeah, I'll take a couple of tokes. Who you serving there? Huh? I mean, I know I'm a dumbass, people, but I'm, come on, man. I know I'm a dumbass. I'm just trying to point something out. Who's serving two masters here? That's right. When you don't get, when you give in to your temptation. Oh, but that's right. God, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to recognize everybody's professing to be like Christ out here. I mean, Jesus, I know... He could be around sinners, but they weren't necessarily sinners when they were around Christ. They respected him. They weren't necessarily, you know, like, uh, 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 and uh, Jesus was an overcomer. And, and I know God, these people are trying to overcome her. They're trying to overcome. They're trying to be saved. They think they're saved, God. I know that. They think they're saved. They're trying to, they're trying to be saved. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to figure this out, people. I'm trying to figure this out. I mean, Jesus could hang around sinners, and they say, I can hang around a sinner. No wonder why they're falling back into sin. No wonder why they're giving into sin out here. Alrighty then. Alrighty. Mm -mm -mm. It's truly sad. People are never going to come up to the recognition that you're being saved. Very few people are ever going to come up to that recognition. If they thought that they were being saved in the moment then that would mean that they'd have to watch what they were doing, God. That's right, I know that. If they knew that they were actually being saved, they would actually have to watch their P's and Q's. But they don't have to. Because they've been led astray. Satan is their father. Because they're in sin. They had no godly sorrow to repent. In a nutshell, people, there you go. I'm not joking, man. It's really sad that when people sit here and think more about their their denomination than, when the, than the Word of God, that mo most people are more caught up in listening to what man has to say out here than what the Word of God says. 
the word of God nowhere says that it's okay to be in sin out here. If that's what separated people from God, then it was going to be a separation from people to God from here to eternity. It wouldn't make a difference if it was before Christ or whether it was after Christ. Christ never got away, never got, Christ never took your past, present, and future sin. That's a lie, man. That's an absolute lie. Just because you guys are witnessing scriptures out here talking about how Christ bore the sins of the world. That doesn't mean that you came into this world sin free, that you were not held accountable for your sin. Or if you or, or uh, I'm telling you, man, this is a bunch of garbage, man. This is a bunch of garbage that people have listened to all this, man. I may not be able to tell. I, I'm going to tell you right now, like I said, I don't have this. Hey. A believe in a nanosecond later you're saved that's how easy that some people make it sound yes that is easy believism you have to have a regenerated and a renewal of the mind you have to have that mind to not do the things of the world this has not happened to Christians out here so how can somebody be born again they're not they're not Out of all these messages I've heard, of all the videos I've watched since 2015, I have yet to hear very few people out here talk about, very few people out here talk about, very few people out here talk about how the Holy Spirit helps you with your ways to where you're no longer in a life of sin. And who else does that but God himself? Oh my goodness. Sounds like to me a true born again Christian wouldn't be a fornicator. Boo! Or have lust in the heart. However you have lust in the heart. Or, you know, I'm telling you. Man, don't you think I need an insane asylum after, what, six years of this, man? All right. I'm still fine. I'm still a kicking, baby. Now, I'm not going to grab a hammer. I got a hammer. That's going to do too much damage. See, this has a, a little bit of giveaway here. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. That's exactly what Christians are doing, is finding a way to still be in unrighteousness. And that's not the way it works. Unrighteous, what does unrighteous have to do with? Sin. What does wicked have to do with? Sin. What does lawless have to do with? Sin. What does sinful have to do with? Sin. What does evil have to do with? Sin. What does iniquitous have to do with? Sin. That's right. A sin problem is what most Christians have. And they're saying I'm a sinner in need of a savior. Evidently they didn't learn anything from it. Because I'm going to tell you right now, people are out still living in habitual, hypocritical, unrepentant sin and calling themselves a, a child of God. No, they're a child of disobedience. They're worthy of God's wrath because they're unrighteous in his eyes. They're wicked in his eyes. Bam, 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 bam. Do I need to literally slap myself? That's going to hurt, man. That's not, I mean. Okay. Oh, that, that did hurt. Hit my ear. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I'm still a kicking baby. It's a, it's hump day. It's hump day, everybody. It's a Wednesday morning. At what time is it? Well, it depends on where you live. It's 6 o'clock on the East Coast, 5 o'clock on the Central Time Zone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think it's some of the carbon monoxide these trucks give off, man. They have these pumps on the side of their trucks so they don't have to run their motor to keep keep the air cooled in their trucks. 
and to keep their trucks powered up. Uh, some of these ding trucks out here got a little pump on them. It costs like five or six thousand dollars to have it installed onto their trucks. And I'm telling you right now, I can smell that garbage, man. I absolutely cannot stand. I've had to literally start driving and move my truck to different places in a truck parking lot because you can hear these little pumps running and you can smell the carbon monoxide coming off of them. And I don't want to hear nothing about how it don't have a smell. I'm telling you right now, I'm not ignorant, man. I know it's something that they put along with the fuel, I mean, along with it. Yeah, one of, one of these trucks around here has got that stuff going off, man. This guy moved that was on my right hand side, so now now somebody isn't blocking me. See my truck is running. Yep, that guy right over there. No, I don't need no medical attention. All my scents are here. I wouldn't have one of them pumps on my truck. I wouldn't fork out the money. People are wrong. Like I said, man, I'm sorry, man. I mean, this is, this is, you know, what people believe out here is no different than if a person was willing to listen to what somebody in a cult had to say. I mean, God will li literally allow all of us to fall if we wanted to fall. If we wanted to choose to listen to somebody out here preach a message that sends them to the lake of fire, God will allow that to happen. Do, I mean, do people not realize that? Do you not realize that if you choose to want to sit here and serve Satan like the majority of the Christianity is, don't you do realize that there that yours, there is absolutely, and I'm going to say it again, absolutely nothing special about you. If you want to go out there and serve Satan, God will allow you to serve Satan. He'll allow you to fall, and when the time comes, free will free will free will thirty two minutes into this video I'm telling you I'll be lucky if one person made it man I'll be lucky I'll be lucky oh my goodness People truly have a pride problem. Now think about this for a second. Here's how bad the pride is. That you hear a message. And when you hear the message that you want to stake everything on. What if it's not the right message? What if somebody out here gave you the right message. And you weren't willing to listen. That would be pride. Guess what? Do you know that God has a message and when all sinners, including myself, are ignoring that message, do you know that pride is behind it? I, you know, check this out. I sit here and said that we think we know better than what God does. I know a lot of y'all will sit here and say, no, I know God knows better. Oh, well, if you, if God knows, if, if you're really giving that credit there, then why is the credit here? Why, why is the credit right here? Huh? I'm telling you, reason why this is coming to an end is everybody's pride. It isn't just homosexual pride. It's not just atheist pride. And if you think atheists don't admit to pride, I sit here and watched an atheist on YouTube that talks against Christians and the son of a gun admitted to having pride. You know all these, I'm a patriot. I'm a patriot. Let me close this thing so people don't see me dancing. Right now. Oh my goodness. My second amendment rights is it my my freedoms uh, uh 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 grab your guns and ammo let's go come on let's fight 
Oh my goodness! Bing, bing, bing! The Liberty Bell! Oh my goodness! The pride! Oh my goodness! America's so good! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's so good! No, it's your pride. Yeah. A lot of them are part of the reason. Oh God! God bless America! God bless America! Grab your guns, man! Demorats! Let's go get the Demorats! Let's go get the Demorats! You know, they're both a part of the problem. I just can't believe it! I'm such a, My pride... My pride is blinding me. I mean, here we are. We have George Bush. He was a Republican and his seventh cousin Obama. He's a Democrat. We've been played full by fools. We be fools. We be fools. Oh! Are you, are you still watching my video? Oh my goodness, we've been played for fools. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here, the Republicans. New world order. New world order. Republicans, new world order. Who else brought up new world order? Democrats? Democrats. Oh, there's one. Oh, <laughs> and the Democrats. New World Order, we're coming after you. <laughs> oh my goodness, both sides. So do you really think that God is happy when the time comes that Satan's built people up? <laughs> I heard, I made my own understanding before I ever witnessed anyone else. I already know what they're building up and I know what Satan is behind. When the time comes, the crash happens. Kapow, 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 kapow. And everybody's gonna be at it. Oh my goodness. I sure hope I'm gone. I sure hope I flee to the mountains. Because I sure don't want to see that garbage. That's right. <laughs> Everybody, you know? <laughs> a lot of people are going to be shocked God is not going to have their back while they're living a, a, a wickedness. And God ain't going to have their back. I mean, you can watch you can watch Kim. You can watch uh, MacArthur. And you can watch DTBM. And you can watch all of them. They're all liars. They're all liars. The majority of the church is liars, man. If you want to believe in all the lies, go believe in all the lies. If you want to believe that you can be in sin and be a, I mean, and, and if you want to think that you can be of God and be of Satan both, Ooh, we got a problem. We got a problem. Mayday, mayday, we got a problem. Yep. Just imagine if, there, if this really is the mark. Look at all the people that have taken it. Football players, basketball players, heck, probably a tennis player, maybe even Tiger himself. <laughs> People should have cleaned out their ears. I mean, I got some ear. I mean, where's my ear swabs? I just cleaned them out yesterday, but boy, howdy. Thought I hit a gold mine. Thought I hit a gold mine properly make sure you don't stick it in too far i mean i still having problems with my left ear because i was you know cleaning something and in the air got and i mean i'm talking i thought i i mean i've been having problems with that ear ever since man what i'm still striking it rich man what the heck's going on Okay, that should be good. <laughs> I mean, I'm just telling you, man, I mean.
I don't even deny these scriptures that a lot of people use out here. I don't deny that we're saved by grace through faith. Again, there's nothing more special about that than very many other scriptures in the Bible. But like I said, everybody wants to boast that scripture. They want to boast that scripture as if it's talking about them. I'm going to tell you right now, a rude awakening, man. I'm telling you, a rude awakening. You people can either come to the truth now or you can wake up to the rude awakening one day, man. That's all I can say. Well, what do you name this video? Come out of the darkness and into the light? Whoa, that sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. Who said that? I've made some videos lately and I haven't uploaded it, but I'm going to tell you right now, this baby's getting uploaded. <laughs> you think I'm going to hit my head and... <laughs> yeah, without uploading it? No, I don't think so. I don't care if I look like an idiot to people, man. All I know is I know what God has shown me. I know people aren't going to make it. Very few are. All those ones say, Lord, Lord. But only those that do the will of the Father. Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird that I sit here and just got done witnessing what a guy said believe had to do with, and he talked about the will. And look at all the people out here that are in sin or that are of the flesh. How can people be doing the will of the Father when they're not even pleasing God, living for the flesh? Boom! Shakalaka.